Today, we're going to be measuring the density of beer. Now, the procedure that I'm going to be doing works actually with any type of liquid. First, what we need to do is we need to know uh, the mass of the liquid. Now, liquids always come with their container, so we're going to measure the mass with the container. And then from that, we're going to subtract the mass of the container. And that will give me the mass of liquid. Once I have that, I can calculate my density as mass over volume. First of all, I'm going to start measuring the mass of my container. I'm going to be using a glass of which I know uh, the amount of liquid that it can hold. Here it says 0 0.5 liters. Uh, some of your kitchen scale maybe have a zero button, so you could skip this step, but in case you don't have this, uh, I'm going to do the complete step-by-step -step approach here. So I have 759 uh, grams uh, for my container. Now comes the fun step. We're going to add the liquid. So now I can measure the mass uh, with uh, the liquid inside and what I get is 1255 grams So what I have to do now I have to subtract the 759 from the 1255 so 1255 uh, minus 759 uh, gives me uh, 496 uh, grams. And now I can do my calculation, mass of the beer 496 gram over my volume uh, on my uh, glass. It indicates it can hold uh, up to the line where I filled it to uh, 0 0.5 liters with one significant figure. Uh, usually densities are given in grams per milliliter, so I'm going to convert uh, that to milliliters. So uh, 1000 milliliter is a liter, so half a liter is 500 milliliter. I'm going to calculate this. Uh, 496 divided by 500, and I get uh, 0 0.992. Now, due to the rules of significant figures, I have one, two, three significant figures here. I have only one significant figure down here. I couldn't measure it more precise than that. I will have to round this to one significant figure, so the answer is around 1, uh, one, one gram per milliliters. Now, if I go online and I Google this, apparently it depends on the type of beer that I'm using, but all of them are within the one uh, gram per millimeter. Of course, my measurement here is not very precise because I only had one significant figure on my measuring device here. Uh, so I'm a bit limited, uh, but I get in the correct order uh, of magnitudes. If I look it up, it is around one uh, grams per milliliter. If you don't have a kitchen scale to do this, maybe you can do this also on a regular scale. What you have to do here is you will have to stand on the scale uh, with uh, the beer in your hand, and then you take the mass of the liquid plus the container plus you, and then you measure yourself again, uh, only holding the empty container, and you will get the mass of the container plus you, which you subtract uh, over here and you should get in the same order. Uh, the higher the volume that you're taking, the more precise it will be with that scale. However, the limit right now here is uh, my uh, device here, which only had one marking at 0 0.5 liters, uh, which uh, created a low amount of significant figures. 
uh, which then only gave me an answer with one significant figure. 